Okay, that was quick. I read this cable last night and it's already here and I got the primer bulb. Somebody mentioned that the air filter has to be hooked up in order for the primer to work. Well, this air filter is all the way hooked up. This primer still doesn't work. I mean, I'll check it right now, but maybe it will work now. But I got a new one just in case. This one has plenty of... Wow. Maybe it will work now. It wasn't working before, though. It still took five pulls to start it. It still takes five pulls to start it. I got to change the primer bulb. Otherwise, something else is wrong. But the cables are ready here. I ordered it later than it is now. Got here in less than a day for 10 bucks. And I have a new primer ball as needed. So we should be able to finish the mechanics of this today. I have to see if this thing's gonna start on one pull. Hang on, let me get all this stuff off of here. All right, yeah, good news is the primer's working now. I didn't even have to change it. Here, I could hear it. So, and I hear it going, oh, oh, oh. it takes more than three primes. It takes like eight, but this thing's fully nice and soft, so I don't have to change that. Cable's here. Swap out the cable real quick. Put everything back together, and the mower is um, done as far as what was wrong with it. Oil's good, spark plug's good, air filter's as good as it gets. Um... Gas is pretty fresh now. Blade needs to be sharpened, although that blade is pretty rough. I have a, I have blades for this mower, I'm pretty sure. Put it all back together once I have the right cable on, and then wash, and she's good to go. So that's good, good news. That got here really fast. They had one on eBay for eight bucks. It would have taken a week. 10 bucks, less than a day. Can't beat that. Just hope it's the right length. I don't know, I must, oh, I threw the old one away. Let's check. Lengthwise in the casing, it's the same. Cable-wise, it should be the same too, so I think we're okay, let's do it. All right, I'm pretty sure we're good now. That's good. Pretty sure that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, we're good. Let me put all the plastic pieces back on now, and we'll be able to test it. Amazon Prime, 10 bucks. Less than 24 hours, you can't beat that. So, I intend to sell this thing for 200 once it's all cleaned up. 190. And a day and... A day and a quarter's work? I gotta see what's up with this door though, why it's all being weird now. <laughs> cause I unbolted this stinking bolt cause I thought that held the cover and it wasn't that one. And now it's being all... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Alright guys, check this out. My hands are greasy as hell right now. But anyway, oh man. I got it working. And let me tell you, it was such a pain. First of all, I went to put the cable on, right? I kept trying to put it on this hole right here. It was supposed to go on this hole back here. So that was causing the thing to barely work and work backwards. Then, behind the wheels, those gears, you can put them on backwards. I had them on the right way originally. Then I turned them around because I thought there was something wrong because it wasn't working. But that's because the cable was in the wrong hole. So then I had to go back and switch these gears back around so that when you push this forward, you hear it click, and then it rolls back nice and easy. So that was the other issue. I had that mixed up. Then, under here, right, that was the main issues. And then under here, I was thinking, well, what is it, still frozen up? Is the gearbox frozen up? Finally, I got it. I still have to put a couple pieces back in and back together but now it works properly that was a headache all because of some minor mix-ups mainly you know getting fooled by that right there and then having me turn the gears around because they're they're gears with three 
notches and then on the shaft there's a key that's held by a spring the spring pushes the key out and when the gear comes around it's got a special indent every time the gear comes around it pushes that key and that's where you hear it go click 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 but when you have it on and you have the self propel moving it stops that overriding it where it goes click 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 past it so you can push it and it grabs those keys and moves the shaft so now here I'll start it and I'll show if it works properly but man that was a pain. I can't believe how much of a pain in the ass that was it took me an hour to figure that out all because of some stupidness and then also the primer works now and it starts good so we're there except for me having to basically finish putting everything you know a couple of nuts and bolts back on and then tomorrow I'll wash it and she'll be good to go in fact just for the heck of it while we're at it we'll make her look complete put the bag on actually I can't put the bag on at the moment because this big rod popped out of place so I gotta knock that back in place but anyway let me show it finally works properly the cable came in today like I said in under 20 hours I guess make sure there's nothing under here but you see how I can see how I can push it back nice and smooth and you hear it going and that's the, the gearbox that's the axle going through the gearbox and then when you push it forward you hear the clicks that's those keys so watch ready I might still have to adjust the cable a little bit for the personal pace but we've got it now fixed only other thing to do that blades in pretty bad shape that's probably what's causing the vibration that blade might be slightly bent that could be why I mean overall though that blades pretty shot so whatever the hell is causing a vibration if it's something loose I'll tighten it up maybe it's just this metal piece going blah 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 whatever it is I'll figure it out and tighten it up and get rid of that vibrating sound but I got it it's fixed it's corrected. Everything's good. The engine starts up like it's supposed to. The self propels working like it's supposed to. It's good. Right on the nick of time. Did it stop filming? And when I accidentally hit restart, but yeah, my hands are filthy. I don't know if it stopped filming. If it did, what I was saying was, I've got it. We're there. The engine starts and runs perfect. The self propelled's working as it should. I still gotta put a couple pieces back on. Like I was saying, if the, that rattling sound, it might be the blade. I just showed the blade. We got a pretty worn blade here. I'm pretty sure I have those blades. I'll put a different blade on. Maybe that blade's bent, maybe that's causing it. Or that metal piece right there up front, maybe that's going. Maybe that's at high speed going blah, 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 blah. And making the rattle sound whatever it is i'll find that and get rid of that noise and then uh we're good now but what a pain all because i thought that cable was supposed to go in that hole and it was supposed to go back here and that's an easy mistake to make that's why it's always good to take pictures and see how it's working properly now you put that cable up here and it does the opposite it's pulling it this way it's this thing's push it. the other way this way it's pulling the cable this way it's also pulling it but it's i don't know it's because of the degree the angle whatever all i know is i got it and i'm happy we're gonna leave it there i gotta finish putting a couple nuts and bolts on you guys will see it when it's done everything's complete on it now except i gotta put a different a better blade on a good better blade and then mechanically we're there I'm gonna wash her until it sparkles and I'm gonna put it on for 200 bucks and I'm gonna get it because I've gotten it before game over I win thanks for watching see you on the next one which will be that uh, front wheel drive one
the cable came so fast today that uh, I got right back on this. And that was the thing. That was another thing. I don't know if I mentioned it. I could have gotten a cable on eBay for eight bucks. It would have taken a week to get here. I paid ten bucks, and I got it in under twenty hours. And I had a two dollar, you know, bonus thing. So I only paid eight bucks on Amazon. So that was the way to go. Another Toro Recycler personal pay saved. This has got to be like nearly the thirtieth one of these Toros total that I've uh, messed with and saved. I've been able to save almost all of them. There was only one I wasn't. It had that blade brake clutch with that special shaft. It was a newer version. So I just pulled the Briggs motor and sold it because it had a special shaft only for this that specific model. So those, those were hard to come by. So And I have sold transmissions for, I don't know, 70 bucks. And I have sold parts for these before too. But it's a good thing I had a... I had every part I needed except for the cable. Yeah, I could use a new air filter. I have that other one that's different size that, that's clean. But other than that, she's rock and roll and ready to go. Later, guys.